and the rain forcing rescue crews to call off the search for a Travis County Sheriff's deputy swept away by the rushing water. This happened early this morning off 620 in Travis County. KTV's Alex Boyer is live near the command center tonight where people are praying for a miracle. Alex. They are indeed, and you can see behind me, Walt and Hama, three Travis County Sheriff deputies remain on scene here tonight, keeping an eye out for any possible developments. Now, I had one woman walk up to me just a short time ago. She was too emotional to go on camera, but she tells me she knows the deputy and that the deputy is a mother. Everyone on scene here tonight wanting to know one thing, just what happened to her. As day turns to night, giant floodlights illuminate the site of the mobile command center set up just feet from where the Travis County Sheriff's deputy disappeared. It hurts that we're leaving right now, but um, I think she'd understand. The search called off until morning due to deteriorating weather conditions. It's difficult. Uh, we've actually had to force people to go home and make the sheriff's down there ordering people to go home and get some rest. Uh, you're not any good to us until you get some rest and, and then come back fresh. But despite being told to go home for the night, some people opting to stay on scene just in case. Cell phone video capturing the spot where the deputy's cruiser was found, but no sight of the woman swept away while trying to protect others. We're still hoping that we're going to find her on a, the riverbank waiting for us to come pick her up. And to assist in that search to find the missing deputy, they've closed down Lake Austin to all boating traffic from Mansfield Dam to Tom Miller Dam while the search continues. That search will resume here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. For now, reporting live tonight here in Travis County, Alex Boyer, KITV News.